The North Carolina Tar Heels have had their most successful season since the arrival of head coach Mac Brown. Led by a pair of thousand yard rushers named Johnson. Two big play receivers. And a quarterback who has come of age leading this high octane offense. A Gator Bowl victory would be the crowning achievement of 1993. The Alabama Crimson Tide started 93 with a national championship, winning the Sugar Bowl against Miami. This year's team returned to the SEC championship game, but key injuries left them short of the title this time. Still, Bama showcases college football's most versatile talent. Number two, David Palmer. He has triple threat talents, running, passing, and receiving to spark the Alabama attack. The Alpac Steakhouse Gator Bowl tonight on PBS. Samuel, a true freshman, it's third and seven for North Carolina. Pressure coming, he dumps it off quickly to Curtis Johnson. Johnson fighting for the first down, and he's gonna be close. And the ever dangerous David Palmer is back. That one not hit very well. And it's actually gonna take an Alabama bounce back to the 32-yard line. Third Dorf. Little flare pass to Anderson. Anderson zips up across the 40, a couple of yards short of the first down. Brian Deal, second best average ever in Alabama history. Line drive affair, kicking it away to the near side. The ball inside the 10-yard line. Eventually, it's picked up and returned out by Stephen Jerry, and he's going to be dropped inside the 15. Stanisic. Left hand off to Curtis Johnson. Johnson across the 20 to the 22. They're still going to be three yards short of the first down. A third down coming up. Panasic getting off again to Curtis Johnson. He's got the first down. Cedric Samuel, a true freshman, number 13. Make that Leon Johnson, the other part of that firm of Johnson & Johnson. Well, he averaged this year a remarkable number of punt returns. 20.3, as long as 34. Thomas... Again, not hitting it all that well, and the ball is going to go out of bounds at the 39 of Alabama. A little delay, fake. Bergdorf over the middle, wide open is the tight end, Tony Johnson. He's to the 25-yard line. On that kind of route, you have to give the quarterback a little bit more room to be able to drill it in there. 37-yard field goal by Michael Proctor is on the way, and Michael Proctor missed it. After hitting 13 of his last 14, 22 of 29 throughout the season, misses a 37-yarder. Little uh, confusion on this play. A flag on the play. Stanisic rolls out, completes the pass. The catch is made by Freddie Jones, the tight end. Jones is inside the 35 to the 30. And let's see what the flag is all about. Stanisic, straight drop back this time. A ball incomplete. The intended receiver was Brooks at the 32, and it's fourth down. Panacek, where's your coming? Going for all of it. Marcus Wall dropped it. From the 34 now, the tide has the football. They're going to have a reverse. The Palmer, he's going to throw. Now he elects to run. He had a man down the field. He's to the 45. He's got the first down. From the spread, pressure coming. A little screen over the middle to Sherman Williams. Nice spin move. He's going to get the first down as he lunges forward. There is a flag at the 47. Then he got hurt and never did pick it up at that pace again. We had an illegal man downfield. What I want to know is he's a good enough student. He must be. He's staying on the side. Here's Deal. Beautiful punt. Beautiful punt. Stephen Jerry will take it inside the 10. Out to the 15, and North Carolina does not have good field position once again. And right now, as we anticipated, Alabama's getting the best of the kicking game. This is what Thomas did last year, but this year has not punted near as well. 37.7 average. He almost got a block. He got this one underway very effectively, though. Palmer with a fair catch at the 32. Hey, Toby Shields has come back in at center now for Alabama as we start the second quarter. Second down and six for the tie. Bergdorf on a rollout, and David Palmer makes the catch. Two catches now for 13 yards, rushed one time for 13 yards. Bergdorf from the spread, 
Step it up in the pocket, wide open is Palmer. He's got him for 20. Second down, five after the timeout. Pitch to Sherman Williams. Williams at the 15 and gets to the 12. He's going to be short of the first down. The Tide has dominated. And right now, trying to add to that advantage. Palmer goes in motion. And after 10 minutes, the fullback, and I think he got it. He has a first and goal. Sherman Williams in the backfield. Receivers left and right. Here comes Williams inside the 10. He's to the 5 and tripped up there. to Williams. Williams fighting for the goal line. He's to the one. Third and goal. Karen Lynch and a great play by Ray Jacobs, the linebacker. Proctor, who missed an earlier one from 37, will attempt a 22-yard field goal. And Proctor's kick is on the way and Alabama's on the scoreboard. UNC will strike in. Janicek. Rolling out. And up the field, the completion is made to Corey Holiday. And Holiday is all the way out to the 48 yard line. From the spread, Stanisek over the middle. Holiday again to the 30. And right now, it's Stanisek to Holiday. That's the number. From the 29, first down. On the option, Stanisek, Stanisek. Pitches at the last moment for Leon Johnson. Stanisic dumps it off to Leon Johnson to the 10, 5, diving, he was late, no indication yet, the officials are not indicating he's in. Henderson, the fullback, will try to get it in, and they're in for the touchdown. Well, the referee is, 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 is waving it off. Well, one did indicate touchdown. Now we have a discussion going on. Wait, you know, I don't know. It's yeah. offsides by the defense, yeah. which is declined. Touchdown. Yeah. Oh, now they're indicating yeah. the touchdown. Okay. From the spread, Bergdorf to Kevin Lee. He's got world-class speed, and that'll be a first down. Second and 14. Play action again by Bergdorf. Scrambling out of there. Breaks the tackle. He's a good runner. Here he comes. 45-50. And he's got the first down. But Bergdorf has run this team pretty well in this first half. Maybe he's getting Gene Stallings' confidence from the 46-yard line now. Bergdorf complete to Chad Key and the former quarterback. First down now to 34. Pressure coming, Bergdorf reaches it. He's to the 30, to the 25, 20. He could go all the way and does. Touchdown, Alabama. Danisek rolling, he comes up the field, a flag on the plays, he comes across the 35 to 40, and he shows he can run the ball. Looks like from the 1890. Fighting that 10. Third down 10. Danisek, people in his face gets rid of it, it's complete to Leon Johnson, and Johnson scoops for a first down. As Palmer goes back to receive the punt for Mike Thomas. Palmer going to call for the Fair Cats and makes it at the 20-yard line. John Cosby, by the way, now playing center. Shields is not in there. Here comes the reverse. It's fumbled and falling on it. Very alertly was Kevin Lee. So both teams have not run the reverse very effectively. Even Jerry goes back for North Carolina. Oh, he almost missed the ball. And Jerry now having trouble getting it. Picks it up at the 48-yard line. Jerry gets back to the midfield stripe. Official teams are long plays. Yes, they are. From the 50-yard line now, a minute 42 left in the half. That's a wide receiver screen complete to Corey Holiday, and he's got a first down. Manasek, double pumps. There's a quarter. I should say the wide receiver screen again, and Holiday converts this one into almost another first down. He's very close to it. And off, going for the first down, and thundering ahead is Curtis Johnson, and he's got it all the way inside the 15-yard line, a burst. And off, and straight ahead comes Henderson, and he's going to be short. 
of a first and goal. He need to get inside the five, and he's short of the five for the tie at the end of the first half. Pignetti's kick is up, and we're deadlocked at 10. Pignetti, who tied it up with his little sky kick again. And Kevin Lee is going to run it up as the time will run out in this first half. Out to the 33. So it's all tied at 10 at the halfway point here at the 49th Annual Gator Bowl. Let's go to Craig Seger. Well, Jay, last year you came on the field, led your team to a national championship in the bowl game, vastly improved this year by now the knee injury. First of all, how's your rehabilitation coming? Rehabilitation is coming real well. Um, you know, just way ahead of schedule right now. I just want to continue to work hard and get it better. I uh, want to be back out here playing again. And Yeti will kick off for North Carolina. That little sky kick again, and Anderson's going to let it uh, hit, and it'll go out of bounds. Bergdorf pitching out to Sherman Williams, and Sherman Williams has a first down in his clothesline at the 47 on a big hit by Bracey Walker. You can see why they call him Novocaine. First down now at the 48-yard line. Williams again, and Williams is going to get another first down. He's to the 40-yard line. This is the guy, the first five games this year, rushed for over 100 yards, then got hurt. Bergdorf with a deep handoff to Williams cuts it back to the 30 lost his footing and that's that slick field that Craig Sager was talking about second down they get six yards to go Tips again to Williams Williams trying to go wide and he gets inside the 25 to the 22 yard line third of the yard and Bergdorf gets it to sneak off the right side across the 20 to the 19 yard line three wide outs now on a first down at the 19 it's Williams again. Williams got the corner. He's to the 15, to the 10. And he is cutting them about 10 yards a clip right now. Third and two. This is the 10th play of the drive. Anderson cuts it. Dive. Fight for what he needs just inside the 10. Second and goal from the eight. Drive almost six minutes old. Bergdorf on the play action. In zone. Touchdown, Terrence Lynch. Now as North Carolina starts from the 21. Play action, Nunnally giving chase, throws up the field. The catch is made by Corey Holiday, and Holiday, let's see where we're going to mark it. He may have a first down. Guard of the year is the MVP in the Pigskin Classic when they defeated Southern California. Third down now and six. Almost falling down, gets the ball underway, and Holiday makes the catch, and that'll be a first down. Oh, it's Tommy Johnson back there. The ball partially blocked. No flag on the play, and the ball's going to roll to the 32-yard line. And Alabama now from the 33-yard line. Palmer comes in motion. Going to throw to Palmer. They got number two in the open field, and that could be some trouble. As he's across the 40 to the 41. The pitch coming back. This is Steger, the freshman, and look at this run for a first down. Second down now, 10 yards to go. Palmer comes in motion. He's going to get it, and he gives on the reverse to Kevin Lee, and that did not fool number 71, and that is Marcus Jones. <laughs> They got it underway. As you can see, Deal was aware of him. Coming up now is Stephen Jerry. The ball comes loose, and I think Alabama, no. They say North Carolina recovered it. Mario Morris, 58, came out of the stack yeah. with it. Yeah, they, they They're going to change there. it. There, there it is. Yeah. They were just pointing in the wrong direction. Bucky Brooks now has replaced Stephen Jerry after he fumbled the last punt. Trying to keep it to the field of play. A little peak punt, but he got too much of it. It's a touchback and brings it out to the 20-yard line. He has done that tonight, but they have not been able to get any production out of Johnson and Johnson. Go back to throw. Stanisek. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. And as the catch made, it is Holiday again. Leon Johnson in the backfield. Stanisek, look out. Backside, he's flipped by Damian Jeffries. Jeffries, number 91. Alabama started the game playing real good defense, 
And in this second half, they played real good defense. As you mentioned, Gary, the, really the key has been there was their opening drive in this third quarter, or excuse me, in the third quarter, where they came out and played some very physical football and got their touchdown. Mike Thomas punts away. Palmer's going to get a chance at a return here to the 45, to the 50, and tackle just short of the 45. There is a flag thrown, and they're going to back Alabama back in their legal block. Marcel West has come in as one of the wide receivers. He's number one, replacing number two, David Palmer. Third door, pressure coming. Completes it. I thought Palmer came out of the game. He did not. He made the catch. And we have a late flag now as he's knocked out of bounds at the 39. They have a late hit. Third door. Up the field, Chad Key makes the catch. He'll be short of the first down as he's dropped at the 39-yard line. Paris Turner, number 30 at fullback. His brother at defensive back for Alabama. Pitch comes back to Chris Anderson, and Anderson has the first down. North Carolina's had the ball in his 6 minutes and 37 seconds this half. Is that amazing? And here comes Sherman Williams. He came back in. Nice little change of pace. Replacing Chris Anderson. And he gets the first down. 79 yards, 15 carries. He had all those yards on that third quarter series. It's been the difference thus far. Here he goes again. Inside the 20. Breaking tackles. Close to the 15-yard line. Second down now. Three yards to go. Sherman Williams. Reading well. Using good vision. And squirming forward. Very close to the first down. Third down and seven from the 10. Third door, far corner, Chad Key. He got it, touchdown. Finishing second only for Florida State and ACC. They've had quite a year. Thomas hunting, not a very good punt again. Thomas was hurt in the spring. He tore a muscle in his chest lifting weights and really didn't get a chance to work on his punting second down now eight from the 40 yard line look at this guy now this is a player that hasn't played all that much but he's going to play a lot in the future that's a 14 yard burst the animal house i lived yeah, in an animal house one time yeah, you seem like that kind of guy the kick yeah. i'm not a pbs guy i can see that right now for yeah. you here's brian deal putting this one in for the touchback brings it out to the 20 yard line you know, he started out his first year losing in the Fiesta Bowl to Louisville. And they had lost three of their last four bowl games. And there's a penalty flag after Palmer makes the fair catch at the 41. To finish this year on a very positive note has to be happy, even though Gene Stallings doesn't look very happy right now. As this game will reach quite an illustrious mark, 50 years of tradition. As Stanisek throws again and diving forward and out of bounds goes Marcus Wall and stops the clock with nine seconds. Nine seconds left. Here it comes. Hello. There they got him. Testing. Oh. <laughs> I tell you what, if I was number 80, I wouldn't let him see my number right now after that. <laughs> and so that's the last snap. And Alabama was an impressive 24 to 10 victory. Did you notice it was all seniors that, that doused him with the water? <laughs> and so Gene Stallings, the walk to the center of the field to shake hands with Mac Brown.